In this scenario, the rescuer demonstrates rigging a hauling system while hanging from an anchor point and converts it to a lowering system. By using a combination of pulleys, descenders, ascenders, and carabiners, it is possible to set up simple to complex hauling systems that can be quickly changed over for lowering while maintaining the same two rope working line backup system. Typically, three to one mechanical advantages and counterweight systems are in operation during the hauling element. A suitable method of paying out the backup rope should be adopted so that it prevents shock loading of the system. The technician will keep his anchors separate from the haul system and also maintain independent anchors for the hauling system's working and safety ropes. The technician finds a comfortable working position and begins to build the hauling system. A Petzl shunt is positioned for use as a rope capture device for the backup safety rope. A Petzl ID is rigged as a rope capture device for the haul system. This will also provide for the braking control when the system is converted to lowering. The technician uses a second set of ropes for this scenario. The safety rope is rigged through the shunt and a stopper knot tied in the free end. The haul line is rigged in the ID and the slack pulled through. A stopper knot is tied in the free end of the haul rope. The technician begins to assemble his mechanical advantage system. Typically, a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage with redirects through a pulley or a carabiner. An inverted shunt with a pulley is attached to the load side of the haul rope. The control rope is passed through the pulley. 
The free end of the control rope is then redirected through a second pulley attached to the carabiner supporting the ID. This will allow the technician to pull downward on the haul control rope to lift the load. A handle to sender with a foot loop is attached to the control end of the working line below the redirect. The technician will use his leg muscles to lift the load. The slack is worked out of each system and the components are checked for proper action. In one motion, the technician stands in the foot loop, driving the haul line downward to lift the load. A variation could have the technician's chest ascender attached to the haul control rope with his feet supported and the technician performing a deep knee bend action as he uses his body to counterweight and lift the load. In this manner, the casualty could be lifted out of or over the obstruction and then redirected and lowered to safety on the same system. The technician's ability to adjust his working position is crucial to efficient hauling. The technician should be careful of fatiguing himself if additional maneuvers are going to be required before reaching the ground. The slack is taken out of the safety line by pulling the free end upwards through the shunt. The technician converts the system to lowering by first removing the redirects and hauling system components. A carabiner is added to the lowering system for added friction during a rescue or when lowering a heavy load. A suitable method of paying out the backup rope should be used. That prevents the possibility of shock loading the system. The load must not be allowed to fetch up on the shunt or the system may have to be converted back to haul to disengage the unit. The casualty, or load, is then lowered using the ID to control the descent rate. Lock off the ID while stopping to tend the backup safety rope. 